further ado, please uh, uh, be upstanding and a huge applause. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I've always known that the Combined Military Services Museum is one of Malden's gems, and even before uh, the collections arrived, uh, which we're looking at today, it had some extraordinary things in it which made Malden, the, the, the museum not just interesting to people of Malden, but actually of national importance. <coughs> things like the assassin's umbrella and the cockleshell hero canoe and the uh, spy collection. But when Richard came to me a couple of years ago and said that there was a possibility of getting the Donington collection, um, he infused me about what a fantastic thing it would be if we could bring it to Malden. And then we learned that the HLF was going to support it, and that was terrific news as well. Um, I have to say, that was when the problems began. Um, and at one time, it looked as if it wasn't going to come here. And um, there was serious talk that it had broken up and sold. Uh, and that would have been a tragedy, not just for the museum, but actually, I think, for our national heritage, had that happened. Um, and those of you who are officiants <coughs> of the Yes Minister will know that um, civil servants can think up a hundred reasons why something shouldn't happen. And it takes a strong minister to overrule them. I took Richard and Marion, and we went and sat in Kevin's office, and the civil servants, sure enough, said, oh, but minister, well, minister, but you have to bear in mind, minister. And after a little while, Kevin just said, I don't care, I want it to happen. And it wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been for the minister. We may not be on the same side politically, but Kevin Jones has been absolutely fantastic in supporting the Donington Collection coming here today. And uh, on behalf of Dad Malden and Richard and the museum and everybody, I just want to say thank you. Over to you.